With so much at stake in the proposed bailout of the banking system being worked out quite literally inside that U.S. Capitol behind us, we asked Dylan Radigan to take a step back and look at the big picture here. Will this bailout work and what's at stake for the economy and for all of us? This is an extraordinary period. For As America. the Bush administration and Congress hammer out the details of the bailout package, markets are still jittery. The ongoing worry? Instability in the so-called credit markets, where banks lend to businesses and individuals large and small. Because of the relaxed lending standards and considerable risk-taking on Wall Street, those markets are largely frozen. Banks are now hoarding their own cash, afraid to lend out money, and when they do lend, it's at very high interest rates and only to the most qualified borrowers. Sign this for me here. This credit crisis threatens Americans' access to loans and potentially their jobs. That's because our economy is dependent on the ability to borrow money at reasonable rates. Supporters of the bailout package argue the $700 billion will help that. Taking over the bank's so-called bad mortgages would once again free them up to lend money. But those opposed say this plan does not address the root of the problem. Housing, with plummeting home values and trillions of dollars worth of homes on the market. And they fear because the plan is so big. If it doesn't succeed, the U.S. will be left with few alternatives to resuscitate its rapidly slowing economy. The price tag may seem like a lot, but the administration hopes it will get at least some of that back. Whether they do is dependent on how well they're able to place a value on those complicated mortgages and what happens with all those houses for sale. The bottom line, the hope is this will drive lending prices down and make credit more accessible. Smaller efforts to do just that over the past year have been met with little or no success. The administration hopes that throwing everything at the problem will ensure the credit crisis does not get worse. Dylan Radigan, CNBC. New York.